Kelly Curley is one of the dedicated and hardworking staff members over at the Learning Experience, an early education facility here in the Milford area. While Kelly has been working with young children here locally, she has also been working tirelessly in the name of her own daughter, who has been battling a difficult medical condition. My name is Kelly Ann Curley. Um, I am the team captain for Team Lucy Lou, um, which is a team that my daughter, it's for my daughter. Um, who has mitochondrial disease. Her name is Alyssa. Um, she's 11 years old. She was diagnosed at three when she um, caught a bug and went to the hospital. Um, we didn't get out for three months. Mitochondrial disease is when the mitochondria in the cells do not work right to produce enough energy to feed the organs, tissue, and muscles, causing, um, it can cause degeneration or failure um, in organs, muscle mass, um, with my daughter, it affects her stomach and her legs. Um, she does have a feeding tube, um, GJ tube, which she gets fed 24 hours a day, um, as well as wearing leg, leg braces in our, on her legs. Um, so with her, it, it, it's affected all, all across the board. Um, she's been diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, um, which is a common issue with Mito. Um, but also she's had a lot of therapy, a lot of surgeries. There's no cure. Um, it varies by degree, by individuals. There's different kinds of it. Um, it can range from, like if you look at Alyssa, you wouldn't think she had anything, um, all the way to kids that are catatonic in a wheelchair that can't really move or do anything. She right now has plateaued. Um, so we're not getting worse right now. We're on a, a mito cocktail, which is probably 11 different vitamins um, compounded together. Um, I put it through her tube once a day. Um, she's also on stomach medicines, um, and she is eating um, a little bit here and there. The doctors did a test, and her stomach is working okay, um, but it's not enough to survive on. So it's going to be something we're going to be battling for going up and down for the rest of her life. With no current cure, funding research to continue to make advancements in the treatment of mitochondrial disease is crucial. That is where Kelly, Alyssa, and her family and friends have continued to focus their efforts over the years. Every year she chooses to do something different. Um, the Jumpathon was kind of like more of a corporate um, idea that I came up with, um, but the bracelets were her idea. Um, she has made, in the past, the bead bracelets. She's made rainbow loom bracelets. We've made lollipops. We've made, you know, so a lot of the kid-centered um, stuff. She's made probably over 100 bracelets on her own already. Um, but with the help of the team, me, myself, her dad, um, her sister, we have made over, and, and here, and the kids here, believe it or not, um, the youngest one being three. We have sold over 400 bracelets in, in almost a month. As Kelly stated, the rest of the staff at the Learning Experience has been quick to jump in to assist with the fundraising efforts. Well, the Learning Experience here, we do a fly three event every, um, every month in the school year, and uh, we do one big one in the summer. And Kelly had approached us about her daughter, and we decided to do it on her daughter this year. We kind of do something different every month and every year. but. Um, so we decided to gather it all together and get the parents involved, get the children involved, and you know, hoping to raise a lot of money for her. We're doing a jump-a-thon here um, at the school on August 15th, so parents are pledging um, a certain amount of money, and we'll set a timer and put on some fun music, and the kids will jump, um, and then we'll raise money for um, Mito Action, and then we'll also have um, the bracelets thing going on. So Which are a dollar a piece. Yes. The kids at the Learning Experience have also been eager to pitch in and make bracelets to help another child in need. They love it. Yeah, they, they, they love it. They do. I mean, they're adorable, so <laughs> they love to wear them. And then um, Kelly was making them here, and they're asked if she could have the kids make them. And I'm like, well, it's pattern making, fine motor skills. There's a lot of skills they're using, and they love it. And it's they're learning about philanthropy, which is a big part of our program. Um, so it's great. The bracelets are everywhere, all over the school. There's a different word that we teach them every month for the curriculum, so it kind of helps the kids understand more by doing something hands-on like this. You know, we are helping somebody by making these bracelets and selling them for someone. We're hoping making a difference. 
And a lot of them have met Alyssa, so they know her. She was in the parade with us, so that makes it more, I think, real to them. That like, mm -hmm. oh, we're helping not just someone, we're helping Alyssa. Alyssa and people like her. The staff at TLE is hoping the rest of the Milford community will follow their lead and help donate to this very worthy cause. We're, we're part of Milford, we're part of the Santa Parade, we're part of everything. We just want to make sure that everyone can help each other in Milford. You know, I would help other people that need um, help as well in Milford, you know, if, they, if I knew or aware to it. A lot of people are not aware of these things, so it's just good to help others when they need it and help support each other. We're very much um, a family here. That's the atmosphere that we try to create. Our own children come here. Um, all of our employees, we consider us all a big family. So when someone's sick or need help, we jump to action and help. As Alyssa's family continues in their efforts to raise money and awareness for mitochondrial disease, the outpouring of support from the community has continued to serve as a source of hope and inspiration. It's flooring. It's um because my goal is not not so much the money, it's the awareness that I'm trying to raise. And people that I never even knew since we started this have come out. Um, we met the family in Norton that just lost their, their son with it, who has another child with it. Um, we've met a bunch of other people who have it and have come forward saying they have it and have and actually joined the team because they didn't know there was other people out here that are really being proactive. Um, the key is to get awareness out um, for this disease. Everybody, it's Alyssa. Please buy bracelets for mitochondrial disease. Thank you. This is Milford TV News and Sports Director Tim Coet. Make sure you check out new editions of the Milford Informer every Friday at 7.30 p.m. or during one of our eight convenient re-air times throughout the weekend. You can also find individual news stories as well as full archived editions on our YouTube page, My Milford TV. If you live in the greater Milford area and have an idea for a news story, you can tweet at us using the handle at Milford underscore TV, or you can contact me directly by sending an email to news at milfordtv.net.